first thing you need to do in order to start assembling the Thomas helmet is to get yourself a lot of LEDs. I have 500 here, but you'll need around 300 or maybe 400, depending on uh, how many LEDs you want in your display. So, you'll need the LEDs, and you'll need some wire cutters. So the first thing you want to do is bend these LEDs. So, we have a long leg, and we also have a short leg. You want to take the shorter leg and bend it towards you. And there, that LED is bent. Then take another LED, and also with the short leg on the right and the long leg on the left, bend the short leg towards you, like so. And keep doing that until you've bent either uh, 400 or 300 LEDs, depending on how, how many LEDs you want your Thomas display to have. So once you've completed bending all the LEDs, you'll need to trim them down to size. So leave about a quarter inch here on the lead that hasn't been bent, which was the longer leg, and trim the bent lead down about a third of an inch. So somewhere around here. And do that to the rest of your LEDs. So now that you've trimmed and you bent and trimmed all these LEDs, it's time to solder them together into rows. So first what you need to do is take your enameled wire and make either 32 or 40 uh, three inch sections like this. So make 32 or 40 of these depending on whether you have the you're trying to make the 256 LED or 320 LED design. So right now I'm working on the 256 LED design so I've made around 32 of these three inch sections. Take your template your laser cut visor and just tape it to some sort of box that has some depth to it. So there we go. Now take you're gonna assemble these uh, columns like so. So take your LEDs and just fill a whole column. Alright, now that you've filled the whole column, take your soldering iron and you're going to solder all these together. I'll show how to do this. So, starting at the top with the bottom one facing down like this. So starting at the top, take your soldering iron, take your solder, and just kind of solder these together one by one. I forgot to mention. So, do not take the protective coating off of this uh, visor because when you're soldering these, uh, some flux and solder may drip on here and ruin the visor. So, if you keep the little paper or plastic uh, sheet on here, it'll keep the visor from being ruined or becoming uh, hard to see through. It'll kind of become foggy if you solder without this protective stuff on it. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Let me get close up. So when you solder them together, you should have eight LEDs. It kind of looks something like this. This is a non-standard uh, template here. This is going to be a slightly different sized visor, but nevertheless, yours will look something like this. Okay, and take your wire cutters and just trim off the very bottom. Okay, and then take one strand of one section of uh, three inch wire and tin the end. So, do this take your soldering iron and get a little bit of solder in it and just kind of touch the two together. And I don't know if you guys could see that, but the end is silverish now. Okay, now just solder. That, this tinned wire to the column here.
So here's what the end product should look like. You have eight LEDs here, and you have a three inch wire, a three inch strip of enameled wire coming off the back. So make either 32 or 40 of these, depending on what design you're working on. So now that all of your LEDs are soldered, you're going to need a brush and some acrylic paint. So you need this in order to paint the back side of all these LEDs to keep light from bouncing back from right there. So pour your paint out somewhere, take your brush, dip it in the paint, and just paint the back side of each LED like so. So just paint all of these. So this section, this row is painted here. I have to do it to the rest of these. Um, don't worry about getting the paint wherever because this acrylic paint washes, washes off with uh, rubbing alcohol. So don't worry if you get it if you get it on the LEDs or anywhere else on the on the rows here. So yeah. By the way, this stuff's uh, available at most craft stores. I bought this stuff at Walmart. I'm pretty sure other stores carry it. So yeah. So paint the rest of these LEDs.